is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and today we are going to talk real quick about a awesome modification for the Blackhawk Omnivore holsters. Now, usually I am a Safari Land fan. I run Safari Land holsters for work. I run Safari Land holsters for play. They're just awesome holsters. Uh, but generally, Safari Land holsters, like the one that I have here, are designed for a specific make and model of gun so uh, it gets rather expensive to have to buy a new one of these for every single gun that comes down the line uh, so when we are testing stuff at the range i like to use the omnivore holster here because this will accommodate just about every gun that i can attach a surefire x300 to uh, they also have a tlr1 model uh, but the problem is it is not interchangeable with Safari Land holsters. Usually, I will run something like the QLS system from Safari Land so I can swap holsters on and off uh, depending upon which weapon system I'm running. I've got a thigh rig here uh, that is running the QLS receiver, and so I can take the holster and just snap it onto that QLS very quickly and easily and same thing I can squeeze the little legs here and slide it off the QLS so these plates are really a great option to have now you can buy replacement QLS systems uh, online they're fairly cheap we'll leave a link to Amazon down below where you can pick these guys up uh, but the big problem is the hole spacing on the back of the omnivore is not the same as the hole spacing on the back of the Safari Land holsters. So these do not line up. So you do have to modify the QLS a little bit. And you can see I did a really uh, hack job here uh, with a Dremel. You have to take out some of the fencing. So that the screw holes will pass through and you need to drill a new hole here and notch out the holes here. Now I want to make one point very clear. I'm not recommending this for duty. Uh, you don't want to modify uh, holsters or attachment points if you're using this for a law enforcement or an open carry type situation where you're going to be defending your life with the system or you may have to fight over your firearm. Uh, so this is not a good thing for retention stuff, but for running and gunning at the range and testing gear, uh, this works out just fine. Now the QLS comes with a ton of different screw options. I just took the three longest screws out of here. And then you're going to have to go to the hardware store and pick up some number 12 flat washers. And I grabbed some stainless steel ones just to try this out. I will probably try to get some black oxide washers at a later point so that they work a little bit better. So what you are going to need to do now is go get your QLS, make your modifications here. And when you lay the QLS over the holster, it is pretty easy to see where you need to make the modifications and where you need to drill the, drill the holes. I suggest uh, dremeling out and drilling the holes first and then going back with a bit on the dremel and cut out the fencing. Now you can see, I'll give you a nice close up of the plate here, you can see exactly what I did so I'm not going to subject you uh, to me running a dremel in order to actually hear this. Uh, after we do that, we just take our screw or our washers and I found that two washers is going to be about the approximate height that we're going to need. And I will show you why this is necessary in a minute. First of all, it's necessary uh, because the screws that come with the QLS plate are too long to just uh, attach the male QLS plate on. Uh, but secondly, there is a clearance issue that I will point out. Uh, now I'm going to line this guy up, drop it in there, and try to get things lined up. There we go. Uh, it can be kind of fiddly when you are lining these screws up with these washers. Uh, hopefully we will get it on the first try here without having to go back and goof around with it. Now, um, Safari Land was nice enough to include a Allen key that is the appropriate size for these. So it just takes a little work to maneuver it around. And a nice tip is if you think you got it lined up, Back it off until you feel a click, and then go forward. And that keeps you from stripping out the brass inserts, 
with these steel screws. And we've got a couple of turns on here. And just snug it down. You don't want to go Mongo tight because you can damage those brass inserts. Uh, once you get everything lined up here, it is advisable to go back with some Loctite and Loctite each one of those screws. Now, we have our QLS receiver plate here. And you see we've got a good deal of space now uh, between the holster and the plate. And the reason for that is on the QLS receiver plate, uh, we have these ribs here. Now you could go through and you could dremel the ribs off. I don't advise that because that is probably going to weaken this joint here. Uh, we want those ribs on there because that gives us a lot of strength for the holster. Uh, but now we have our plate on here and it snaps right in. Uh, so now we can take our Black Hawk holster and we take, can take our Safari Land thigh rig here and it snaps right on. Uh, so now I can use my uh, Black Hawk holster on the Safari Land thigh rig or more importantly on any of the other duty belts or any of the other setups that I have the QLS system on. And it's a very versatile system. Uh, Black Hawk does have their own uh, quick release system. I have used it in the past. It locks on and then twists. I much prefer the way the QLS works over the way the Black Hawk system works. Now, if you are not already invested in Safari Land equipment, I would recommend just staying with the Black Hawk attachment system. Uh, it has worked well for the military. Uh, it's not really that big of a problem. It's a little bit thicker uh, than the Safari Land QLS, so you'll get a little bit more standoff if you use that system. Uh, but it really isn't a bad deal overall. This is really for those guys that are already invested in the Safari Land system. Maybe you have a QLS receiver on a drop shank already on your duty belt, and you want to be able to drop something like the Omnivore onto your duty belt uh, to run a competition gun or an off-duty gun or whatever else. There are a ton of different reasons for it. Uh, but this is a really easy way to set this up and uh, it works fairly well. So that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter. If you like the video, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, get out and shoot.